two very quick, easy entries, entry into the situation. So in Japanese, irumi is entry, rather than a technique, it's a condition. That idea of whatever this danger is, I don't want to be going backwards, I want to be coming in here to engage. If I've got to engage at all, we engage. So when the attacker's being aggressive, I've got a couple of different things we can do. The first one is what we call the split, where my hands from the outside edges come through and drop down. Now obviously that leads to worry about headbutts and knees coming in, for which I might want to turn, cover, or go to my favorite combination, whatever that is. So we're aware that it's gonna happen, but I've got to steal his initiative and his balance with what's going on. And it's come from the outside to the inside. Okay? Second option is to cross, to fold his arms. The human body wants its arms to be folded across it. If I try to pull those hands away, that's difficult, but to close them is actually very easy. So if I choose to go that way, it's like I don't want to fight, bang, and then we're closing the distance, closing the guard, and approaching that way. So any application from Kata that we want to go to can obviously be done straight after that. This, of course, looks a little bit preemptive. It's less like receiving a hook punch and then going in. It's taking it while we're still talking, and then what do I do? Or whatever you want. So if I was to engage Gion from here, uh, what I've done is to close and go across the neck, uh, stepping past the opponent as we did. So one more time, please. Right, that could also be that we slip and then go into Gion, in which case, on that time, I've taken the inside line um, rather than the outside line. Balance is taken in both cases, and uh, the similar kind of movement, because we don't want a million different movements, we want to know that we can enter the situation with a, a, a very direct principle for either thing. Okay.